Joe. <laughs> Morning, Joe D'Amico, Jefferson County. Um, I'd like to, you know, agree with Jim Fritz's comments uh, about the state of economy here. I, I think uh, I think we're really in for some hurting times. And um, um, I know that I've talked to you before about uh, legal nonconforming use. I now hear it being talked about in the shorelines that you'll be grandfathered. No you'll be picked off one at a time. Because grandfathered use, as Al will tell you, is disfavored in Washington State. And I know that for a fact. I've been fighting the county for four years. Your guys' uh, um, hired gun, hearing examiner, bird tag, came back and said, I could only have two and a half employees. I'm the only business, non-conforming business in the state of Washington that has a county that has told me that I can only have two and a half employees. That's a great stimulus package. You know, this is really great for people that want to come and think about expanding or intensifying their business. And all those words are tricky. Intensification, remember that word, intensification. Because if you intensify something on your property, it's something that they can come back and say, well, you know, intensifying your business, that's disallowed. <laughs> You know, expansion, that word. Do you really expand your business or do you expand your house or do you expand your property or expand your services? Those are all tricky words and tricky phrases. So, anyways, um, you got to stop passing new laws and new ordinances that affect <coughs> anything, period. You guys have got to get your arms around the problem here in Jefferson County. We cannot wait for a solution in Washington, D.C. Because I can tell you right now, that's messed up. And from a small business owner, I'm not going to see a penny of that money. We have to get in. We have to get a group of folks here, business owners, to sit down with Al Scout and figure out what can we do to encourage business in the county. And one of them is, is not setting, is coming up with these new setbacks. That's bad for business. And I think it's bad if we look at anything. We just need to put a freeze on anything that's new right now until we can find out how it's going to impact us. Real quick on the preamble, I wish, could you, could you come in five minutes early and give the preamble so that we could have the full 30 minutes for public comment? Because I'm looking at my clock, it's taking about five minutes out of public comment. That's, and um, I want to thank Larry for coming in today and and uh, talking straight. So, thank you. <laughs>